Hey, sure. I reckon we could, like, say what we're actually doing and stuff. I was just going to get Tom from uh, Decca to explain it. There were a number of ideas that were emerging uh, about this song, which has had enormous success uh, around the world. It's been huge in Europe. It's becoming a massive hit in America. And I was going home one night and I saw a guitarist with a snake on his head. And I thought, wouldn't it be awesome if we somehow persuaded him to join in? And then we met you. Um, and what you do is exactly what we need to try and do. The question is, can we create a band of buskers who will record a version of Geronimo. If we do create something successful, they will see the benefit, or a charity of their choice will see the benefit of any money that's generated from the circulation of this video. So this is them effectively taking their busking from the streets of London around the world. Here is London, giddy London. Is it home of the free or what? We are about to find out as I do another busking challenge. This is basically two years to the day since I completed the Underground Orchestra Challenge uh, and did a performance at Shepherd's Bush Empire and thought what better way to commemorate it than going back to London and trying to find a bunch of strangers and get them together for another musical project. So we thought we'd start at Piccadilly Circus because it's one of the places that you mainly find buskers. Uh, the way we're having to do this is I'm having to have all of this with me. So I've basically got to run around carrying all of the recording equipment. We've got to then try and set them up. We've got all of the music in the backpack here. Uh, and the idea is that we'll literally just run around and just keep trying to find people. And as you can see, there's nothing. So we're going to wander down now to uh, Leicester Square and hopefully find some people down there. Right, so we've come from Piccadilly, uh, where there was no one, and we're now in Leicester Square, which is another hot spot for finding buskers. And again, there's no one. Uh, we're going to try the embankment next. So it's 2-0 in places that we visited versus musicians that we found. Um, so this guy, it's really good, but I just don't know how to use that at the moment. This is, this is actually really, really tough. I don't know what I'm going to do. So we've been to like three different places around London where buskers are predominantly seen to be performing and they're not there. All of the busking pitches are empty. People aren't performing on them. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you, fella. Um, I'm conducting a challenge where I have to perform a music video from various buskers and street performers around London. I've got three days to do it. What is the song? Uh, the song is a song called Geronimo by a band called Shepherd. How can I play a song if I don't, I've never heard it? Because uh, I'd be willing to listen to it at home and then just do it, you know. Uh, it would be much easier than uh, me trying to, you know, hear in a cold wind. It, it doesn't seem like it's something I want to do right now. It's perfectly fine. You just okay. enjoy yourself and okay. I won't bother you anymore. That's okay. Have good a good day anyway. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. The problem with this kind of challenge is it really is about people taking a leap of faith and trying something without really knowing. And that's what all of my challenges have been. We're back at Piccadilly Circus. Uh, we've been here already and couldn't find anyone. And I've just managed to hear the sounds of what sounds like a harmonica and beatboxing player. I'm not too sure, so we're just gonna go check it out. It's relentless. It's actually relentless. I don't know what to do. Uh, we've been running around all day. We haven't been able to find a single musician. Really, found yeah, a bagpipe today, today, player. Today is really bad. Oh, it's, it's been cold. I know, yeah. <laughs> So if you're up for it, it'd be yeah, great. I mean, it's, yeah. it's wonderful yeah. that the first person we find is actually a beat maker. Yeah. So it's now the end of day one. Uh, it's been a really eventful day. I wouldn't say it's been the most um, productive. Probably haven't got as many musicians as we'd hoped. Uh, only one. But that one is a beatboxer who will lay the foundation for the track. So something amazing just happened. Uh, we were coming from the hotel room and managed to bump into a violinist on the train on the way down here on the Central Line. Um, she's really, really cool and she seems interested. So potentially later what we might do is get her and some of her friends down to Victoria Park and just record her and anyone else that she can grab. So it's all cool. It's actually started really good. Where's the guitar? Oh, okay. Okay. I just, I just did it too. Not, not a problem if you're... Okay, so I have, I've got chords and stuff. This no, is why we know it's so difficult as well to do. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, not so a problem. Okay, cheers. I think in general it's a very difficult, it's a hard sound. It's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, wherever we are, 
Um, take one. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, sorry to bother you. Yeah, we, we found a beatboxer yesterday and we basically cut and pasted him up, so you've got that to play along to. And we're kind of building it up. You remember that game as kids used to draw a head and then fold it over and then draw a body and fold yeah, it over? Yeah. I'm kind of doing that's the musical cool. equivalent, basically. I heard NBA. That's, what? sounds absolutely ridiculous. So we put all the chords up there as it's been played, but I've got lyrics and chords you can actually have. So, so that's Lewis who kindly had just stopped for half hour to, to just play with us and did an incredible job. So now we have some amazing uh, guitar playing that I can go back and try and work in. So yeah, positive, it's all good. Firstly, thank you for agreeing to do this. Um, this is Cecily. Hello. So Cecily plays violin with me and she's Australian, right? Yes. So it seemed like a perfect choice to actually contact you about it. Um, and I just thought because the, the band uh, Shepherd are Australian, it would kind of make sense to grab you and... Of course. Um, okay, let's go find someone. <laughs> So I've been looking at all the recordings that we had from yesterday, uh, particularly all the string parts, just to see whether they can layer up. Uh, so just listening to it here, this is four of the strings in there, just at a particular point. So yeah, sounds really good. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that we've got enough stuff. So some of it will work, some of it may not, and what it might mean is me moving parts around uh, and just trying to cut and paste it and, and find the right parts. So it is, it's a really difficult job. So we've kind of, we've kind of announced to people that this is going to be where we, we end up. We've travelled around most of London for the last three days and we've only got a couple of hours left and we're both really, really tired. Okay, so three days and 30,000 steps later, uh, we finally finished recording as many people as we can. Um, I've lost count, it's between 10 and 15 musicians that we found, and we're gonna now put them all into a computer via my brain box, and create some kind of music video from it. So I've done all of the instrumental, I've got all of the musicians recorded and on the track, and now I'm trying to find the same musicians and get them to record and sing along to Geronimo. Say, Geronimo, can you feel? Which one do I go for? <laughs> <I'm alone>. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost it. Yeah, you held my hand, but I tossed it. Didn't understand you were waiting. So that's it. Finally. After three days running around London trying to find musicians on the streets and recording them and then going back and trying to find the same musicians to record their vocals, we have everything. It's over. Um, absolutely shattered, but it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience uh, and I can't wait to see the finished product. And that's it. I'm going to go home and rest. <laughs>